Hey everyone, um, sorry for the shaking, my camera's, camera stand isn't the best, but hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a quick gift, like, similar to this. This is a larger version of what we're going to do. Um, this is something that I like to do, um, when I'm making gifts. Um, if you're a person who's, um, who has a gift basket business, um, quick and easy is my thing. So that's the motto. Especially if you're an stay-at-home mom or just a, you know, somebody trying to, um, do an at-home um, gift basket business, you don't want to take a lot of time on your projects because you have to pay yourself for your time also. So take that into consideration. Um, this here is a relatively cheap gift, but it's rather large um, in height. Um, this bag was from the dollar store. This is a pinwheel bow, which I show you how to do in um, my other videos. So I suggest you go to the other video and see how to make that if you haven't already done so. Um, also, um, the tissue here dollar store and I would say also go to my other video about um, how to put tissue in a bag because I'm not going to go over that today I'm just going to you know quickly stuff it in I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible this is a dollar um, dollar balloon from the dollar store also the bear was a dollar so um, I have just a pic that says happy valentine's day candy in here so it's pretty simple it's just a lot of flair to make it look a lot larger and more expensive than what it is. It's more eye-catching. It looks um, like it's more value for what you actually put into it. So, um, like I said, I'm going to make a, a smaller version of this. Um, I didn't think to make a video until after I had made like 15 of these and then, you know, I had my head in the wrong place. So, I'm going to show you a smaller version. Sorry for my big mama arms. <laughs> they're going to be in the video a lot as I'm reaching in so I'm going to show you what I'm going to use um, like I said smaller version um, dollar store bag bear um, dollar um, I put a skewer on it just with tape this helps when I stick it in the in the bag this also is homemade <clears throat> this is going to take the place of the balloon um, in the other one since this is a smaller version I don't want to put too much money into this um, because, of course, you're going to sell it for a lower price. Or if you're just making it as a gift for somebody, um, if you don't have the money or you just want to save, it's a good idea. I just printed Happy Valentine's Day on a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, I had a circle cutter, so I cut that out, tied a little bow on it, and I just taped it onto a skewer. So that's cheap and easy. Um, I also have a um, little bag of conversation hearts with a bow and... Um, curling ribbon. You can add any candy. You don't even have to add candy if you don't want to. Um, I have, <clears throat> off to the side, I have a huge bag of this um, crinkly paper, um, but they also sell small bags at the 99 cent store, the dollar store. Um, you can use that. Now, um, I'm going to start by opening up this, um, this bag. It's two-sided. This side's glossy. This side has glitter. So I'm going to use this side as the front. So open it up. <clears throat> Now, you want the bear to sit on top, so you're going to need to stuff something um, inside the bag. So what we're going to do is, I have, a, I have par old parchment paper, you could use bags, you could use tissue, you could use um, just regular white, write, white writing paper crumbled up. So just crumble something up, and I'm going to make a lot of noise here as I'm doing this, and I'm going to shove it in my bag. Now you want to go pretty much... To the top with this uh, with the paper on the bottom. So I want to go a little lower than that. Actually, I'm sorry, a little higher. Okay, so it's about an inch below the top there. And I don't know if I'm gonna try to adjust this, and it's gonna shake around for a bit. Sorry, I have a homemade, my son's using the video camera, so I'm using my phone on a homemade, homemade stand. Okay, so I put the paper in there, that'll support our bear. So what I'm going to do, you could either put tissue on top of that if you have colored tissue, or you can put um, the shred, I'm going to put the shred in. So, looks like this, and you don't need a whole lot. Um, then I'm going to stick the bear in. So this is where the stick helps because it helps it from falling over, just tipping over. Um, so that helps a lot. So 
Next, we're going to do the tissue. Now, like I said, if you didn't watch my other video, I suggest you go and watch that on how to uh, put tissue in a bag. So I'm going to start off here. Actually, I'm going to start off with red. And I'm just going to go really quick. And I'm going to put the tissue around the bear here. So I'm just shoving the tissue in the back of the bear in between the uh, bear and the, uh, I'm sorry, in between the, uh, the, the paper that I have on the bottom and the bag, the paper kind of holds it in place. So you just shove the tissue in there. So your gift is already starting to take a cute shape here. What I like to do is start off higher in the back and go a little lower in the front so your, so your bear doesn't get um, totally lost. And then if you do add um, candy or something, um, you can do that. Now, to avoid wasting too much tissue for, the, for the, um, the shorter ones, you can actually cut that into fours and then just put um, a smaller piece in there so you don't waste so much. So that's pretty much that. Now I'm going to shove this in here that I put on the skewer. And you can tie curling ribbon onto here just to give it a more decorative look. But I'm just going to show you really quick. So you just want to shove that in there. You can also put a balloon in there if you wanted to. Um, and then I'm going to put the candy in. So that's a little too low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more shred to help raise up my my candy so just gonna stuff that in there and put my candy right there that's where double-sided tape comes in handy because you can um, stick it to the front of the bag or stick it to um, stick it to uh, uh, the bear if you can and I left my pinwheel bow off to the side I'm gonna grab it really quick and I'm gonna show you I'm going to show you what it would look like with the pinwheel bow. Okay, so this bow says Happy Valentine's Day. So I'm just going to add tape. You would do um, double-sided tape, but for the sake of this video, I'm just sticking it with regular scotch tape because I didn't get that ready ahead of time. So I'm just sticking the scotch tape to the back here so that when I stick it on here, it'll... I can just tape it down. Come on. So that's pretty simple. Um, so that's a pretty simple gift there. So, <clears throat> like I said, let me try to get a close, should give you a close up of this. So, cheap and easy, quick and easy. Um, you can curl this, make it look better, um, add more things into there. Um, in place of this, if you don't want to add that, um, this came from the dollar store, Little Hearts. So you can add that in there just to make it look nicer, cuter, um, in the back somewhere. It's up to you. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick and easy gift on how to make your gift look a lot nicer. It looks a lot nicer than this being stuffed in the bag and just tissue, which is nice also, but you want to make the, uh, the bag and the tissue be part of the gift instead of something that you're delivering the gift in. Um, that adds a lot of value. So if you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and um, inbox me or leave comments below. And um, thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye guys.